NSFW, what was your most embarrassing trip to the doctor? Not as embarrassing as the others but the time I was really slack about taking my blood thinners cause they are expensive AF and my job was wobbly thanks to the plague. Ended up in hospital with blood clots in my lungs and a kidney infection. I now take them as directed. Part of the tragedy of the pandemic is people like you who stop the sling their meds, for whatever reason, and end up hospitalized. Infected ball sack. Crushed my nuts with a milk crate at work, and when asked by the emergency staff how it happened they were confused. Spent roughly 10 hours trying to explain how and even had to demonstrate a few times. I have to ask, just so it'll never happen to me. Because this sounds terrifying. How did you do it? Sandwich the poor thing between two crates, full of milk, while stacking the crates. Afak. You must have huge balls if you managed to do that. The time I went for a pelvic exam, and my gynecologist was rummaging around down there and suddenly asked me if I'd ever been to the Grand Canyon. That's absolutely hysterical. I would have laughed for weeks if that happened to me. I went for one and she said I appreciate the glitter, very fancy. I was very confused until I realized I had worn new shimmery underwear and it apparently shed glitter all over my nethers. I had a gyno mimic hello echoing. I died laughing when I got to my car. They call the GC America's vagina for a reason. Went to the ER for stomach pains, worried about appendix, spleen, gallbladder etc. And hashtag X200B. I was constipated. And hashtag X200B. My brother still tells the joke that the one time I went to the doctor I was full of shit. That's super, super common actually. They for sure forgot about you the minute you left. I see it regularly. I'll put my finger up your asshole and will have forgotten your name within a few minutes. I'm gonna clarify I am a doctor. Post salmonella hemorrhoids. I went to my usual male doctor and told him about my painful butt things and he politely asked if I would like a female doctor to check them, I am a woman. I said cheerfully nah mate, all good, everyone's got a butthole. He did do the check, but I was silently asking myself the whole time, why did you say that? Why? I don't know if you're Australian but I read that in an Aussie accent and it made me properly laugh out loud. Thank you. If I was rich I would award you. Ha ah, thanks. And yes I do have an Aussie accent, I'm Kiwi, but been in house for 14 years. Hemorrhoids by far, I know women go through way worse at the gyno and I what I expected but I was not prepared to lay on my side in the fetal position while the doctor opened my ass cheeks like he was about to read a book. This book is full of shit. There's a major plot hole. This book is ass. Way back when I was younger, my friend's younger sister was constipated. She got really upset when her dad told her that she was full of shit. I had a cyst on my upper butt crack for the better part of a month. One lovely Saturday morning it's gotten so large and swollen that I couldn't even walk or sit down without crying in pain. I'm the first person to the urgent care that morning and find myself laying sideways on a table with a lovely doctor using a scalpel to force an eruption of the volcano that had formed between my cheeks. It was instant relief and used probably 20 pieces of gauze to clean up. I'd say that one. Even worse than getting my balls ultrasound. I had one of these but I kept ignoring it until it was bad bad, had to go under anesthesia while they carved it out, 3 inches deep hole that I had to change packing for frequently. First two months of my senior year the school nurse had to bend me over after lunch and change my gauze. Bend me over after lunch and change my gauze. I can't keep up with all the new slang from you kids. When I had to show my naked butt to the doctor in the hospital and she spread my butt cheeks to look inside, and then a dozen student doctors, interns, came in the room and were all staring at my butt for what felt like hours. Oh my god, I would have been sweating buckets. The sigmoidoscopy that came right afterwards, after an enema, wasn't any less embarrassing. Oof. I'm Brazilian, am, and a friend that didn't speak Portuguese called me and said there's blood in my stool desperately. I got him to the ER right away. The crew didn't speak English, so I had to go with him to the room and explained what happened to the doctor, who didn't believe our story and thought we were having fun together when the bleeding started, 
because he thought it would be okay to check my friend's butthole while I was in the room. The doctor made a gesture to him to put his pants down and turn around so he did. I started getting really worried for what I was about to see, so I asked, can I go outside and then you just tell me what you saw? I'll translate everything you tell me, but I'd like to give you some privacy, the doctor just stared at me like asking why? While he was getting his parts checked, I was in the corridor laughing so hard the nurse thought I was having some sort of panic attack, so I had to explain what just happened to her. So she went to the room as she could speak English and make things easier for me, and also check if I was telling the truth, who knows. The doctor figured out his asshole was okay, he just ate too many beets. He'd just need an ointment and the nurse started to explain to us how to use it. For some reason she gave us the instructions talking really slowly and making gestures get some ointment with your index finger and go ooh outside by, pointing finger, nude I and n Outside by. Cut the flap of skin that connects my sack to the shaft of my penis with hair clippers. Not only was it a day that they were training new doctors but also my mom worked for the hospital and saw my name on the computer system. So by the end of the visit, I had five extra young doctors staring while I got stitches but also my mom walked in too thinking something bad happened to me. Was that an accident during a trim, or like? To liberate it? Just look in to access the bonus inch. Free the sack from the oppression of the shaft. Ball Liberation Front 2022 <laughs>
Well it got stuck in my throat, but it was okay because my saliva made it fit smaller in my throat. I was about 15 and at the doctor's laying on that short table waiting for the doctor. I couldn't figure out why that dumb table was so short and tried to figure out a way to make it longer. Well I realized at the end of the table there were these fancy leg extensions. So I pulled them out and waited. Doctor came in and started laughing hysterically and asked me what kind of exam I wanted. I didn't realize what I had done until 20 years later I went to the doctors with my wife. Kind of a delayed embarrassment. Edit, I probably should include the part as to the look I had on my face 20 years later when it all came to me and I figured out what actually happened. I am sure my wife was puzzled as to why I was laughing so hard while she was having her checkup done. Am reading this while waiting in a doctor's surgery for a procedure involving those fancy leg extensions. I feel stupid but I don't get it. I don't go to doctors often, 